Oh, you so lucky, boy. Hey, Lone Ranger. Look who it is. It's Torino. I haven't seen him for a while. Yo, what's up, Torino? I don't know. He may be talking hey, to somebody. Lone Ranger. How's it going? Pretty good. You hear all that good news? Yeah, been wa watching it. See what develops. Yeah, hopefully something good. Exactly. Was Stoney playing later? Uh, he should be on later tonight. He had uh, something he had to do uh, this evening. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I might be on later, or I might be gaming with some of my family. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, we get enough on. We'll do some town battles. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yep. Okay, I'm recording a video, so uh, I'll leave you for a second. <laughs> okay. Have fun. All right. You too. All right, guys. So I have some news. The developers for Wild West Online, they were real silent on the forum. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Mr. Black, one of the developers, he comes back on the forum and is like, we're back. This is what's happening. And they went into why they were gone. And apparently, I think for some reason, like, they weren't making enough money off the game. And the, the company was going under. Uh, Mr. Black and his team, that there's only like three of them, them and Free Reign Entertainment are now going to be developing Wild West Online. But I don't know if it's going to be called Wild West Online or if they'll change the name. But anyways, they're going to continue to develop this game. So the development is back. And for all those people that are like, ooh, it's a dead game, like, it's a scam. I mean, the developers, they came back, so who knows? Maybe they just want more money? Or, I mean, I'm sure they probably want more money because they were even saying that they hadn't been paid in, like, three months. Yeah, let's see. It says some of the wording isn't quite right, so I'm going to try and uh, fix it if I can. It says, hey, everyone, Nick here. As we've promised a long time ago... Then they put a link. Um, it says we've been working to bring game to bring the game back. First of all, sorry for not talking to you sooner, but until very recently, I personally didn't know if I had a job or not. Effectively, by August, any new development was stopped, and pretty much uh, company had closed. Game didn't sell enough copies to keep team on payroll for uh, some of us haven't even been paid for over three months by now and effectively any support to the game has was shut and then it goes on to say uh, core of the development team have worked hard to find potential partners financing etc for WWO but unfortunately it didn't happen what did happen like a few weeks ago was a miracle basically fo folks at free reign entertainment stepped up and agreed to help us develop the game further formalities uh took some time but as of now i'm glad to to announce that the game has a new home and new hope while most of the original dev team is gone by now in fact, only three persons, including me, are left. We have a new team and a new team to help us move forward. So what is going to happen in the near future? If you own WWO, you're okay. Your account will be intact. All of your purchases are safe. Then it goes on to say, you will continue to use your login to play game you also will receive some generous rewards for being a, a loyal player both game treasury notes currency 
or it says TN currency, treasury notes, as well as items such as additional land lots. You will need to download and install new game client. For now, it will be only available through our website, our own website, and will be available on Steam at a later date. From this says, from this new client, you will have access to two games, effectively from one launcher, Frontier and Magnificent Five. So apparently, Frontier, I don't know if they're going to keep it that name, but Frontier is going to be essentially what this game is right now but it's going to have the northern expansion let me show you so you can't see it but we used to be able to scroll up up here was the northern expansion that they were talking about they're actually going to be unlocking it and uh i'll, I'll say what he says right here he says oh there's somebody else uh says frontier is a wild west themed survival slash exploration pvp game you will explore world yes full game north will be available build your own housing and settlements craft items hunt animals etc this is basically evolution of wwo as you know it it'll be much more focused on building and crafting than wwo though what it sounds like it's going to be the same game but i don't know if they're going to call it wwo but there's going to be like more to it but it's going to be more focused on i guess crafting and building settlements and stuff i'm not for sure how that's going to work he goes on to say game will become free to all players anyone and their friends will be able to create free account and play game to compensate this to our existing players it says you will receive at least fifteen dollars worth of treasury notes as well as some additional items that are valuable in game now don't be worried because i i saw on another post that mr black was saying i'm pretty sure the people that paid more money for the game they're going to receive even better like rewards and stuff so we'll be okay there I mean, we'll see what happens. You never know. And then he goes on to say, uh, when Magnificent 5 will be available for general public testing in a week or so with Frontier to become available in November. So Frontier will be some available sometime in November. Magnificent 5 is their Battle Royale mode. But essentially, this Magnificent 5 is going to be a Battle Royale mode. There's going to be like 20 teams of 5 people each and yeah it'll probably seem a little bit like fortnite or something because he was saying that there was going to be like you could build like cover or like barricades or something so i mean that, that could actually be pretty cool uh, especially with it being in a wild west setting you know uh fortnite is not that plus i don't really play fortnite i've played it a few times but uh, it was not my jam I will let you guys read this on your own. You can let me know in the comments what you think about it. I'll try and link this, the forum page, with, with what Mr. Black said in the description. So you can go check that out. I believe with the game being free to play, they were saying this, I'm pretty sure they were saying this a while back, but basically if the game is going to be free to play, anybody can play it, but I think you will max out at level 20. And then if you want to continue to play the game beyond level 20, you will have to buy the game. As far as I know, that's how it works. Because I was playing with a guy a few days ago on the I'm on the US server. Let's see how many people are on. Four people. Yeah, I think Stony Brook and some other guys we're gonna be on later. Maybe do some town captures or something. But yeah, like I was talking to this level one guy and he was new to the game and he said he was playing the free trial version. So I don't know if you can do that through Steam or if you, I'm pretty sure you have to go to WWO's website and download their client there and then maybe just get a free account and then you're able to play. Because I was looking on Steam and it looks like there's not anything that said free trial on Steam. So I don't know. And it may have something to do with me already owning the game. Oh, do you like my new gun skin? It's gold. And also made my 
uh, pepper box it is also gold. I like it. So yeah, it's exciting news that the developers are back and going to continue to develop this game. Oh snap! Okay, we're still recording. So yeah, it. I'm hoping that with the game being free to play, there will be a lot more people on the server. And plus, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 just came out like today. So, uh, well, actually, technically, anybody that pre-ordered the game, it came out yesterday. Yesterday evening, but yeah, it came out today. So I'm guessing a lot of people are playing it or watching videos of it. I was watching a few hours of it the other day as well. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. But it's not on PC, and that's the thing. This game is on PC. Wild West Online is on PC, so... And it's not on console. Who knows? Maybe if this game ever gets its legs back, maybe someday it'll come to console. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. I mean, shoot, Fortnite, that blew up, and that came to your smartphone and... Was it the uh, Switch or something? <laughs> Nintendo Switch? I was talking to Ginger a little bit, the Ginger Empire. If you guys aren't subscribed to him, go subscribe. He also played this game a lot. He hadn't been playing it as much. He was doing like a monthly check-in. Just because the, the game was seeming kind of dead and not a whole lot of people were playing it. So, I was playing a few nights ago. And we had like 9, 10 people on. If any of you guys are wondering, like, should I buy this game? Should I wait? Uh, if it's free now, I would definitely say go ahead and, you know, try it out. Because I feel like it's definitely worth even 20 bucks that they were charging for the game. They may be charging 20 or 30 But I'm pretty sure it's $20 on Steam. And I paid about 60 bucks. I think some other guy paid over 200 or something. Or maybe that was over 200 because of the extra stuff that he bought in game hopefully because i think the ginger i think he was going to do another live stream and talking about the the new stuff that's coming and so it sounds like he might start playing again which that'd be epic ginger if you're watching this thanks buddy and hopefully we will get stuff like like the train uh it sounded like with the battle royale mode they're gonna have all the guns so let's go over here to the gun store really quick uh, they were they were already saying that they were going to be having guns, like more guns in the game, which they did add, but there were still some that were locked. Uh, I don't think they're here. I think it's by the other guy. Oh, yeah, and I'm, not, I'm a high enough level now so I can purchase these, but I don't have enough money, as you can see. And I think, what do you guys think about if me and the Ginger Empire and some other guys uh, played the Battle Royale? I, I think that would be pretty epic. I'm wondering if... I would think it would be in, like, the same world, how that's going to work exactly. Oh, look, somebody's coming with a relic. We better kill them. If you guys have not been on the Wild West Online forum, it's nice to see uh, the developers post on it again. Oh, that's Torino. You gotta die, boy. Oh, you're so lucky, boy. Hey, Lone Ranger. Hey, how would you like to say hi to YouTube right now? Hey, everybody. Yeah, guys, this is Torino. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I was just filling my viewers in on the new update that's coming. All the new changes. Can't wait. I know, dude. Are you looking forward to the Battle Royale mode? Oh, yeah. Yep. Like, I, th I think there could be a lot of action there. Uh, that's what I can't wait for. Get some action. And it sounds like they're also going to be having all the guns in the game when that happens. That'd be nice to be able to try out some uh, new ones. Yeah, I know, right? But yeah, I also hope that when... Because it sounded like the the game is already free to play for new people. They just have to get in a, create an account and they can start playing. Or start playing on the uh, like this game right now. Yeah, I guess you can start a free account, but uh, I think it goes up to level 20. I don't think that goes past that. Yeah, which I think that's a good thing because it's like if they want the better guns, they're going to have to get 
beyond that, which some people might say, oh, it's a pay to win. No, I mean, I could wreck people's faces by using a level 10 shotgun. Oh, does he see me? I don't know if he sees me. Yep, I think he might see me. There we go. It's actually a, a lot of fun playing with the shotgun. Yeah, that's for sure. So yeah, I mean, gun to me. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I mean, even you, like, you're good with your guns. So, and you don't need a super high level gun to wreck face. And I keep on practicing, trying to get better, little by little. But it sounded like Stony was wanting to get together again on the second of November. Yeah. Uh, we was kind of hoping that uh, people would show up and we could have a little something tonight, too, but we'll see when, uh, when he gets on. Well, hey, man. I'll see you around. All right. Talk to you later. Oh, yeah. Another thing, guys, is uh, I was asking Stony Brook, but he's got a website, and I will probably link his website down in the description below. If you guys want to go check that out, Stony Brook, he actually he plays this game quite a bit, and he knows a lot about the game. And he's, like, been, like, trying to recruit more guys. And uh, he tries to schedule events, like, when doing, like, uh, town captures and just stuff on the server. So if you guys are interested in that, you can definitely go check out Stony Brook's website. And he's got, a, I believe, a TeamSpeak. He doesn't really use Discord, but uh, his TeamSpeak, I think they all, like, kind of hop on and play the game and just have a good time. That is going to do us for now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't really action-packed. It was more just like a little update video on things that are happening. I hadn't really done a video like this in a while. So it's been more of just like just gameplay, just playing around. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I hope to see you, even if you guys are new, any of you who are new to the game, don't know that much about it. Uh, you can go check out my other videos. I ho hopefully you will kind of get a better understanding on how this game works. and Or you just hop, hop in the game and just learn yourself. But uh, yeah, I appreciate all the feedback, guys. And uh, hopefully, you know, this game, this game isn't dead yet, as everybody was saying. But I appreciate all you guys and the support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care. Bye-bye.